Ladies said and gentlemen, she be on our day this country when honorable Ganyu Johnson for us of red move the motion that they should create a law that is going to stop doctors from traveling out of Nigeria if they have not practiced for at least five years. His reason is because Nigerians cannot invest so much money um, training these doctors and then when they don't collect license, they don't move out like that. Because it is more expensive to study medicine abroad than in Nigeria. So he thinks that doctors should be stopped from traveling for the first five years. So it is compulsory for you to serve in Nigeria for five years before they will now officially give you your license. Because without that license, you go nowhere. Neither a white call TV. Now they ask and say, is it not unfair on the doctors that you create a rule like that and it stops only doctors of travel? What about pharmacies, lab techs, and the rest, people in the medical field? Oh, now I know what see this man talk. More now, yeah. Honorable, I know that, you know, as I pointed out earlier, some people have said that this bill is simplistic, that we think that simply by stopping our doctors, we have, you know, we'll solve the problem. Now, the problems are a little more complicated and it is not addressing the gamut of medical uh, professionals that are affected, the nurses, uh, the lab scientists, the um, people who work in x-ray, et cetera, et cetera, that all of them are living in droves. Um, and it's not addressing comprehensively the issues that are making them leave. Um, and you're only seeking to stop only a certain section of, you know, these people. Have you, when, you, when you hear reactions like this, does it make you want to go and take a second look at the bill and say, really, will this bill really uh, solve uh, the problem that we have at hand? Yeah, there is another bill coming up. Another now, bill? Yeah, on, uh, on the Nazis and another one for the pharmacist. You want to stop them as well? A similar thing. Put a peg. I'm going to read that very soon. Do you understand? See, that's why I said, I mean, this is just the first phase and it's a short-term measure. It's not a permanent, so I'm not saying this is permanent solution. It's a, it's a stopgap, short-term measure for us to take stock of what we have and whether it's going to solve the problem or not, it's a different thing. But by the time we are able to uh, mitigate against this using this approach. I know with time, it's going to be a win-win for the doctors and for the country as a whole. Okay. You see, you see the way the presenter there say, you want to stop them as well. <laughs> if like you should be nursed. <laughs> <laughs> Even I said, if you she did plan to shock man. All of us go hook here. <laughs> All these men are just drunk cats. Did, did, did you hear him? Did you hear him? He said, whether it's going to solve the problem or not, is a different case. That one not concern her. He only say, may they not be travel go abroad. May they not be there yet. May we, wait, why can't we take our time to create a bill that will stop the politicians too from going abroad. As they stop doctors and nurses from going abroad to go and treat people. Let's stop politicians too from going abroad to go and be treated. Okay, you want to be able to travel to abroad for treatment, but you don't want us to travel with you and come and treat you there. <laughs> so very soon at this one, I don't only be doctors. It could affect other medical professions. And the reason is because you ask, the government has spent money to train them through school. What about people who went to private universities? Those ones who call, uh, federal government spend money to send those ones to school too. Have you not asked yourself why your doctors leaving? Are you not ashamed of yourself? If we tell people who study accounting that before they leave, they must work in the bank for five years. We tell people who study uh, engineering that before they leave, they must work in Chevron for five years. Would that not make more sense? You want to force people in the health sector to work by force. Now you go force the person to work for a year, and the person will mind no day here. You go verse, they use and shout to a patient. How much are you paying him? This is so simple. Just increase allowance that for, for the health sector. Simple. Give me, give a total minimum salary of 500 to 700,000 per month. If the people, where they, 
Do you know how many doctors who graduated who they did not even travel but they did not do the medicine at all? They are selling weeds we run online. Give them a minimum of 500 or 700,000 per month. Even all of them go carry their syringe down inside the medical partition back. Do you know how many people are unemployed? Just tell doctors that if you work in Nigeria, you will earn 1 million, you some of them will earn 2 million. The ones who are doing Europe, they will come back. But no, you want to be paying them 250 and you want them to work by force. Meanwhile, to study medicine at several years old, you must know better. You pay at 250. Meanwhile, the illiterate one approved for the National Assembly, the illiterate where they don't graduate, you are giving them millions of newspaper allowance. Not salary, newspaper allowance. Many illiterate, they don't be not with the year with the man that say a damn gaba where they make noises was rusticated from university. Makes more money than a professor in medicine. If you can pay those colon, they won't approve for House of Web. They pay, they pay them more than governments in America. This one, so called as House of Web and Senators, they earn more than Joe Biden in America. If you can pay those crazy people, we're not knowing so that they do more than the president of America. Why can't you pay our doctors more than the doctors in America? Okay, now here you will now for minimize funds. But when I said they know they minimize funds, all of you are just, all of you are just, all of you are just, 